In earlier episodes of this Explained series, I addressed papers by Quintero and Weens from 2013 indicating that vertebrates cannot keep up with the current rate of environmental change or most notably with the projected very slow rate of environmental change, not taking into account numerous self-reinforcing feedback loops and the aerosol masking effect. And I also described a paper by Burke and colleagues indicating that the Pliocene-style conditions will be achieved as early as 2030, completely ignoring the aerosol masking effect and dozens of self-reinforcing feedback loops. In this episode of Explain, I'm going to describe a paper by Matt Davis and two other colleagues that appeared in the Proceedings in the National Academy of Sciences on October 30th, 2018. The paper is titled, Mammal Diversity Will Take Millions of Years to Recover from the Current Biodiversity Crisis. And that's the story in the title. Mammal diversity, which currently is relatively high on Earth, will take millions of years to recover from the current biodiversity crisis. We are in the midst of a mass extinction event, as has been known for more than a decade, has been openly reported for more than a decade by the United Nations. Biodiversity is more than the number of species on Earth, as pointed out in this latest paper by Davis and colleagues. And in fact, they indicate that it will take millions of years for mammals to recover and that mammals are not keeping up with the ongoing rate of environmental change. This is a cause for serious concern, especially when tacked onto the paper by Quintero and Weens, indicating that vertebrates can't keep up. So here we have a paper indicating some eight years ago that vertebrates can't keep up. We have this more recent paper from about three years ago indicating mammals can't keep up. We're vertebrate mammals. What do you think is going to happen to Homo sapiens if vertebrates and mammals can't be, keep up with the ongoing rate of environmental change? I suspect that we too will go extinct in the not too distant future. After all, we're in the midst of a mass extinction event. We're a relatively large organism that depends upon many other organisms for our own survival. It's a sad tale, I'm afraid, but I don't see any way out of this mess short of the mere reflection project, which I've mentioned dozens of times in this space. Unless we can implement that framework and also many other societal changes, we're going away soon, folks. I'm just a messenger, but that's the way I see it, is we're going away soon. <laughs>